Desmond Du here from No Sleep Creative. Today we're going to learn how to make this dot patterns directly in After Effects. We're going to turn it into an animation preset, which we can use for our future design project. So, let's begin. In After Effects, let's hit Command N to create a new composition. I'm going to do 1080 by 1080 and in this composition name to Demo. Click OK. And first of all, I'm going to create a perfect circle by going to my Shape tool, select the Ellipse tool, Double click on it, this will create a perfect circle in the center of the comp. And then with the shape select layer still selected, select the rectangle tool and then double click on it so we can create a perfect square as well. Hold command. Uh, so actually no, we're gonna create the slider control first. We're gonna need three slider control. So let's in our slider in our effects preset panel, let's type in slider and double click on the slider control. We're gonna need three of them. So let's hit command D twice on Mac. And we're gonna name the first one size. The second one will be spacing. And the last one will be copies. And we also need a checkbox control because we want our rows to stagger. Checkbox control. So let's rename this control, stagger. And last of all, we need a fill because we wanna color, color our pattern directly from the effects uh, control panel. So we can turn this off for now. And Next, let's open up our shape tool so we can open up uh, the rect just a whole actually a whole command and click on uh, the drop down and this will open up uh, everything. We'll do it for the ellipse and the things we're gonna get is the size. So option click on the size, the rectangle path, and then option click on size for the ellipse path as well. Go back to the shape layer, press double E so we can just show what uh, the size parameter. And we just can pick with it to our slider control and the effects and preset panel. And now I can control them like that. Or one thing we do want to do is that in the rectangle uh, path, under in the rectangle path transform, we want to rotate it by 45 degree. So it'll be it'll be like a diamond. Alright. Next thing we want to do is go, let's close rectangle, close the ellipse layer, let's add a repeater, and we are going to Option click on copies and then pick with it to, well, the copy slider control in our effects and preset panel. Open up transform and we are going to option click on position and we're going to write in some expression. So we're going to create a variable x is equals to the slider control spacing semicolon and then a square bracket x comma zero. And then nothing's going to happen because we first of all need to increase the size, increase the copies, and increase the spacing. See, it's working now. Very nice. So let's actually reduce our size to 50 and the spacing to maybe 100. And you can see the copy in action like that. Okay, so this is for just one row. So let's rename this repeater horizontal or H. Command D and open up the repeater. Let's change this to vertical. And we're going to go into transform and then open up our expression. So what we want to do is just to flip it from x to comma zero. We're going to do zero comma x. And you can see it has become a grid. So we're almost there. Now we just need to uh, create a control. We're going to link the control to stagger it row by row. So here's what we're going to do. So I like to create a variable called CB, which short for check uh, checkbox. And then I'm going to pick with it to my stagger checkbox control. So for a checkbox, when it's uh, zero, when it's blank, when it's not checked, the value is zero, and when it's checked, it, the value is one. So we're gonna write an if statement to say if it's checked, you know, stagger. If it's if it's not checked, don't uh, just use the, this the value that we have right now. So it's gonna be like a grid. And instead instead of using a if statement, we're gonna use a ternary operator. So it's like a shorthand for writing an if statement. So it goes like this cb equals equals to zero question mark so basically this first this first uh few lines uh, this first uh few characters saying if if uh, if our checkbox control equals to zero is as simple as that so if it's zero give this value or which is denoted by a colon we're gonna do x divided by two comma x Ta-da! there you go we have a stagger control. So all if I click in my in my effects and preset panel, I click on the checkbox, 
No, I can just have this control. I can just change it from a grid to, you know, a, a staggered grid. So we're almost done at this point. The last thing we want to do is to lock the anchor point in the center of a pattern. Notice the anchor point is in the center of a first shape. And I'm sure you can go into center anchor point in layer content to center it. But if I were to change the spacing, notice it's static and it doesn't update uh, accordingly. If I increase a copy, it also does the same. So we are going to write an expression to lock the anchor point in the center of our shape. So let's press A to bring our anchor point. And I'm actually going to use an animation preset that actually does, that has the expression already. So I usually have all this set of uh, presets that I commonly, a uh, set of uh, preset with expression that I commonly use. So one of them is called anchor center lock. So if I were to uh, select, uh, use it, right? Notice if my anchor point has the expression already. So you guys can copy this expression and use it for, uh, and save it into your own animation preset. And let's, we can test it out. Let's turn off stagger so we can see everything clearly. Increase the copy. It's in the center. So let's reduce the spacing. Increase the copies. See? And it works. So even when I stagger it, it's still working. So let's, uh, let's change our copies back down to 10 and our spacing. Let's increase it a bit. And stagger. And let's reduce the size. So with and then we're going to create our background. It's got this BG, Command Y. Okay, let's put it behind. And if you just want to change it back to circle, you just need to go back to content and just change it, turn off rectangle and only have ellipse turn on. And let's uh, reset the position of our shape layer. So we'll be in the dead center. And now I can just increase the copies to create our dotted pattern. And go ahead and play around with the size to get the exact type of pattern that you want. The, the one thing you need to know is that when you're staggering, sometimes you might not have enough uh, copies. So you, you might, if you're not positioning properly, you might get something like that. So you just need to increase the copy and just center it. This is something to uh, keep note about. And now for the final step, we're going to save this into an animation preset so we can reuse it. So before we do that, I like to just you know, round up my numbers in my effects and preset panel. So it's just more pleasant to look at when I when I bring it up and turn off stagger and you can turn on yeah, I can turn off fill for now so this is the default settings that I want and I am going to open up my shape layer and I'm gonna select content effects and transform the, all these three uh, layers and then I'm gonna go into save animation preset and I'm just gonna save it in my root folder I'm gonna call it uh, pattern demo click save and now if i were to delete this shape layer i can go into recent animation preset pattern demo and tada it's up again and it's working and then i press double e my expression is all there i can stagger it you can also share this file this animation preset with your friend if you would like to have a copy of my after effects project file and animation preset you can get them for two dollars at my gumroad the link is in the description below Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you like this video, please subscribe and like for more. You can also follow me on Instagram at Desmond Du to see my latest work. Alright, that's all I have for you guys. I'll see you next time.